Hello internet world, welcome, welcome to a new video on the Geek and Noise channel. Time for something completely different on the channel. Now as you all know Geek and Noise is a tech channel primarily, but if you follow my videos regularly you'll know that toward, towards the beginning of 2020 I got back into running again. Uh, my history of running started at a very young age and I used to run a lot, uh, but just recently I got into running again. You'd have seen my uh, Geek uh, Get Fit series on the channel and in today's video I'm going to be giving you my uh, review of these very kindly sent to me free of charge by Brooks. Now they haven't asked me to say anything in particular uh, or to pre-approve the content just to share with you my experience with these. Uh, these are the Brooks uh, Bedlam 3 running shoes. Absolutely fantastic looking pair of running shoes. Now I must preface this video with the fact that I'm not a professional runner. I don't know all of the terminology that these uh, uh, running channels use for, for running shoes but I can tell you how these have helped me uh, about the support uh, and the fact that they're 20% lighter than the previous version and just the comfort fit and how I found them over the past three or four weeks. And I've done round about sort of uh, about five to six kilometres so far in these, so not a great deal, but that's a lot for me. That's a, that's a lot of running for me, uh, but really very very impressed so far. So let's take a closer look at these. So this is what the shoe looks like. Uh, just to let you know that these are a UK nine, and I am normally a UK nine, and I would say these are true to size. Uh, they feel quite sort of tight fitting across uh, the, I think this is the bridge of the foot. So they feel quite tight fitting across here, but once you loosen up the laces, uh, then you're good to go. And it's got an integrated tongue, uh, so not totally separate. It goes halfway up and then it's integrated up to this section here, and then the tongue splits out like so. Uh, a nice mesh upper. Uh, we've also got a really good support system in here. So you've got guide rails that really do hold the foot in place and this is termed as like a, a support running shoe and I found that it did support my foot very very well indeed. Once I had this on my foot I felt very locked in so I had no sort of slippage in this sort of heel area and this back portion really this is really firm at the back so it's not like a loose material it's nice and soft up here where it meets the back of your uh, heel uh, there's also a pull tab to aid in getting this on, but this sort of helps lock it into place. So it's very, very uh, supportive when you're running, no slippage at all. Uh, overall, I like the uh, feel of the upper. I like the breathability as well, uh, but I also like how it looks. It looks very, very nice. So, uh, no, looks are not of utter it's not not of utmost importance with a running show, shoe but looks are important you know it's got to look good as well as feel good and perform well uh, with regards to uh, the laces they go through little slots so obviously they're flat laces and they go through little slots and we've got some reinforcement where the laces go through uh, let's take a look at the underside of the sole plenty of grip here uh, I've mainly used these on uh, grass and sort of looser tracks some road as well but mainly grass and looser tracks and very very grippy really nice uh, 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 effectiveness on different uh, types of uh, surface really very very good indeed uh, toe we've got some grip on the toe all the way through to the heel of course very minimal wear as I say I've put about five maybe five to six kilometers on these a uh, little tiny bit of wear shown on there but hardly anything to t to uh, sort of talk about at the moment and just a, a really nice fitting pair of shoes. Now what I really appreciated with these is that uh, probably about five or six years ago I had my gait measured and I need a support trainer so I need something that supports my, my sort of running style uh, a little bit more rather than a completely neutral shoe. Uh, so something with a bit of structure to it. Uh, these are sort of uh, somewhere in between. So they give me just the amount, right amount of support, uh, but also they are super lightweight and they've got a nice spring to them as well. So when I'm running, they really do help me sort of keep my stride going nicely. Uh, very, very impressed. 
Uh, they look exceptional and they are super lightweight, very, very light. I think they're going to hold up well over a long period of time because they feel very well made. Uh, this uh, rubber on the sole uh, does feel very, very good indeed. Uh, absolutely love them. I've really enjoyed the last three or four weeks of uh, wearing these. Now, as I mentioned before, Geekanoids is primarily a tech channel, but I share this with you because it's something I enjoy during my spare time. Uh, it's something I've been getting back into uh, and I've got about three or four pairs of running shoes and these have quickly become my favourite. They're very, very nice and no discomfort around here as well. Around this hill area, this is very sort of stretchy around this portion here, but then we've got this rigid piece going across the back which really locks the heel in, so I really do like that. Very, very soft inside, nice amount of padding on the back of that tongue area. They've just done a great job. This is a great running shoe. This is the Brooks Bedlam 3. I want to thank you all for watching this video. This is live as well, of course. So for those of you tuning in live, hello. Uh, we've got um, Ishi and David Franklin. Awesome. Good to see some unexpected content. And that's right. It's good for me to share these things because I run running shoe and it's something that I can certainly recommend. If they weren't comfortable, I would be telling you they weren't comfortable. Uh, but these are nice and lightweight, really responsive, and they give a good amount of support. So I can certainly recommend them. I've left links to where you can pick these up down in the video description and a link to the manufacturer website. If you enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. I'm hopefully going to be bringing you some more running shoe content in the future as well. So do keep an eye out for that on the channel. Thanks for watching everybody. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you in another video very, very soon.